What what was the what was the first thing that, that tipped you off that something was wrong? What was what was happening there? It was a sound. The sound. What was that oh, like? You know. Hey, when they say when they say it sounds like railroad or locomotives, believe them. Huh, honey? A lot of locomotives. A lot. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> hey, we, we never been through it. We didn't know what we was doing. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Hey, what's that? <laughs> So the sound, was there anything else that sort of tipped you off as to anything that... Unusual? Yeah, Ghostbusters playing on Ghostbusters the thing. Ghostbusters playing. you got to call? From what I understand, you guys don't like to listen to that song to this day, huh? I just listened to it last week. I have it Did up my shed. Did you get hail before it happened? Yes. Did we? Yes. In Clearfield it did, though, didn't it? It did here, too. Yeah. yeah, see, I don't remember what it here. Because I, I remember when we got here, it stopped raining. Right, right. Just not long before, there was a clearing. It started to get nice. Yeah. And then... It, it broke blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are probably the four guys. I, I don't know how many people have ever lived through an F4 tornado, but you guys went right through the belly of it. So, yeah. we're pretty lucky to live through probably one of the strongest tornadoes. But actually, the strongest tornado ever to hit Pennsylvania. You, let, you guys live through it. You went through the center of it, too. So it's pretty amazing, I think. I remember, you know, working back then and hearing about three days later, and these Boy Scouts made it through the tornado. We were sitting at Aki where they're going, how could that ever happen? How did you guys survive that? So it's a pretty amazing story. The only thing that was, him and I were standing there down in the porch, which it didn't even as long as this. And we made it from the porch to the doorway. That's it. I told the father we made it. Mm -hmm. And these kids, when their hat flew off, they was headed from the back of that cabin out the front door. And they stopped and right there at the doorway. Mm -hmm. And that, that was up. Yeah. What saved your life? It wasn't just us four. It was his yeah, old well, What saved your life? Up. That's what I don't understand. I mean, winds were 250 miles an hour, which pretty much annihilates everything. How did you survive? Him hanging on the one door frame, me hanging on the other door frame with, with me these down. kids in, uh, between, in between us. Especially holding him up. Mm -hmm. or holding his hand, both of us. Because he was just was flapping the in the breeze like a kite. <laughs> Dex, I remember. Literally. <laughs> I was standing off to the side. He was straight out. He was like that. He was uh -huh. just going like that. Yeah. The whole time. Uh-huh. So. I mean, what does it say? Two minutes to get through the whole part? It seemed like one heck of a lot longer than that. Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> it, it seemed yeah. like forever. Yeah. Just going through where the cabin was. Yeah. Well, the trees fell around you, didn't they? Kinda, yeah. Kind of protect you a little yeah. bit? Yeah, because that whole cab the cabin down there, you couldn't even hardly see it from the road because of those big pines. Some of them are that big around. And they were just all which ways. Took them right out by the roots, a lot of them. Yeah, but none of the trees landed on the cabin. No. Uh, tore the roof off the cabin. Off the back of it. The back of the cabin. But not, a, but not right above us. Mm -hmm. What about the fireplace? The fireplace uh, f had a fire before the tornado, and it was still burning after the tornado. And there was one uh, wow. brick from the tornado, and from the fireplace, that come down and scraped. Uh, the one boy lagged. Yeah, we had no serious injuries. You know, do you guys remember it being green? It, the sky kind of green before that happened. I mean, I do. I big. I mean, I'm curious. What? Why would it make it? You know, it looked green. Uh huh. So, is there why would the sky? Well, the color. It has to do with the. The angle of the sun, how thick the clouds are, mm -hmm. uh, probably by the time it got here, it's already been in the ground for <coughs> a minute or two, so all the debris is already getting up, sucked into it, and it's just, you know, it's just a color. It was the atmosphere. Uh -huh. You could feel it. I know. Why, Henry? You could feel the difference <laughs> in the area, uh -huh. in Clearfield, mm -hmm. and it was pink. It went from, it went from a cool, it was like a cool, clammy morning. To by afternoon time, it was hot and muggy, and you just knew something was going to happen. So you certainly do get a lot of reports of blue or green skies with um, 
severe, severe thunderstorms and and there, you see that a lot now with all these storm chasers that are out there getting video that Henry and I watch you often see a, a green or a blue hue to the sky with uh, and meteorologists aren't sure if it's due to the some say it's due to the light refracting off the hail the truth is they're not really sure a lot of debris in those tornadoes there's a lot of things going on so again you know it still amazes me you guys survived that I mean if you think the wind's at 250 miles an hour that's about as fast as it generates. No, hurricanes flies. don't even blow that fast uh, the record, what was the record, Jesse, just the typhoon record was 190. The new typhoon record was 236. 236 was the high, 236 was the highest uh, wind speed ever re recorded in a typhoon. It was just. Northwest Australia. Yeah, in Australia. So they lived through winds higher than that mm -hmm. for the two minutes they were in there. So it's pretty amazing. Wow. We just attribute it to the fact that God had other plans for them. <laughs> there is no other explanation. Whatever he had planned for them wasn't finished yet. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, done anything good in 25 years? Pardon? Have you done anything good in 25 years? Yeah, get up, go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Five years. <laughs> that sounds familiar, actually. That's about it. So, what do you guys remember is like the first thing once things relatively calmed down there after <laughs> after it blew through? What were some of the first things that you guys were thinking or doing or fear? Well, fear? we can't we can't tell you what we said. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, what happened? Idea. That's what that did. We didn't have the slightest idea what happened. Yeah. Not at all. Wow. Yes, who was it said, wow, what a party? <laughs> <laughs> you just go outside and look and you see all these trees. Oh. And you look and you see a clearing up on the hill. Where'd that come from? <laughs> well, here comes, ended up to be, that's where that high power power line is that goes across the top of the hill. We never knew it was up there. Well, and before the tornado actually hit, the three of us were on the front porch of the cabin and they were talking and I... And I said, hey, look up there, and there were flashes of light on the top of that hill, and they pretty much said, eh, well, you know, they didn't know what it was. So I walked in the cabin, and I no sooner walked in the cabin, and they were coming right in after that, and that's when my brother's hat blew off, and we were going back out. So, so it was the, uh, the, the lines were shorting the, out. The power lines, yeah. yeah. And I didn't find that out until long after, but... Uh, you know, from looking up there now, that's the only thing it could have been. Because that's right where those power lines are is where I saw the flashes of light. Yeah. So. And at first you guys thought that that was, I had heard one of you guys say you thought there was a plane coming down. Plane crash. That's what Marty told us when he came home. They thought it was a plane crash. Mm. When he, they first saw it, they thought a plane was crashing with the sound. And then that was just, I'm assuming, just before it hit. Mm -hmm. They heard the sound, saw the lights, and they thought a plane was... Because there's no train tracks up there. Yeah, well, part, part <laughs> of the, the road up there. The, the former park manager was here today, too, and they were discussing about how short of a notice they had. Because if anybody's been up to that area, you know, on the back side of that, the direction from which the tornado came, it's basically a ridge. So you would have not been able to really see anything coming until it was right on top of you. Right. And which was the case. It was right on top of you before you knew.